Um, but uh, Tinder, now, you know, you're swiping left and swiping right, and a celebrity shows up, and you're like, this can't be so-and-so. And, well, now they're going to very much verify check marks, just like Twitter. Oh, wow. So you're going to be like, oh, this is that So you person. can hook up with a celebrity? Is that what's happening here? Yeah. Oh, wow. Because mm -hmm. they, they um, Hillary Duff, I know, is a, did a whole music video of her dates on Tinder. And I um, can't imagine that. Like, yeah. like, really, they're just, like, but then again, just to be a celebrity trying to date has to be horrible to begin with, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but, Okay. Yeah, celebrity and notable people. You kind of well, you do kind of need that because mm -hmm. how many people can just put a picture of so and so and mm -hmm. be like, oh, I'm completely look, I just look like this dude or something. I don't know. I know. So yeah, so now you can date a celebrity, <laughs> or at least know you're dating a real celebrity. I guess I don't know. There you go. <laughs> what if I'm internet famous? What 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 happens there? It depends on what part of the internet. I mean, if you're YouTube famous. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, new Steve Jobs trailer out this week, a little more extended. Um, I, I I feel like we're gonna. I, I, I'm gonna go watch it. I mean, I, I'm excited for this, uh, more or less in the same vein, just just on the subject alone. As um, I don't know why this didn't work the way it was supposed to. Um, as uh, uh, the, the the Facebook movie, the Social Network. I don't know. Are you, are you guys into this? Did you guys see the new trailer and see how how uh, 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 the depictions are? I mean, Seth Rogen as as Waz is really kind of weird to me. Mm -hmm. uh, still, I did not check out the trailer. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, okay. <laughs> did you even see the teaser before? I can fake it. You can fake it. There's a little bit of it right there. We see apples. There's you know. <laughs> there's the old iMac. That's the old yes. iMac. That's good. We got one of those sitting over there. Um, but, uh, and there's, there's Seth Rogen as Ross. I'm not, I'm not buying the Fassbender as jobs. I mean, I mean, I don't know. What do you yeah, think about that? I don't know. The very interesting, the, 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 the weird thing is there's this, um, I forget the name of her name, but there's a, there's a lady in this. Hey, there's a lady in this. Uh, but the conversation has been, nobody knows who the heck she is. Like this is based on the jobs book. Is that Kate Winslet's character? The case, Kate Winslet's character which seems according to the trailer has a pretty prominent role in this yet was never really spoken about in the books and any any biographies or anything like that so so and i think you know people know who who she is and they've been able to place her but but as part of that narrative you know i you know how have they kind of added her on there so um but it'll be interesting to see i'm more excited about this than the um the abysmal uh Ashton Kutcher movie. You have to be a bad movie for free to not like it. Uh, and, and that was pretty much along those lines. So, uh, but that's coming out, I think, this fall, if I'm correct. So, if you like Sorkin stuff, that's probably going to be good for you. He didn't direct it, but, um, but it's definitely a writer on that. So, lots of walking around and camera follows, I'm sure. Hmm. Uh, from that, I, 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 there was an article uh, I tweeted out earlier uh, this week. Uh, so you're thinking about flying your drone through fireworks for Fourth of July, and the curious part, and to talk about you know, hey, you should uh, consider this FAA regulations, etc. And then I'm sitting there on the north side watching the fireworks over by PNC Park, and I see a drone taking pictures of the fireworks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so these little green lights and moving around, I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right, what's this about? And I was following, I was following that more than the fireworks a bit. Did you did you see that? Oh yeah, where you were at you. Were over on i forgot you're on top of freaking carnegie science center that's awesome that was amazing by the way and you saw the drone as well oh yeah you yeah. Be like, yeah. i wonder if it was official or or, or or a rogue drone or something i was keeping its distance pretty good yeah so. it wasn't it wasn't yeah because it, it looped out my way so it definitely probably looped out your way it's pretty far distance because mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. came over top of us it came over top of uh of the the big heart uh, place the building right beside PNC Park, and then like kind of went up the river a bit. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I I just assumed it was Dave DeShello. <laughs> I had somebody else that said, "Yeah, I'm completely going to get my drone out there," and I'm like, "Yeah, I saw someone on the north side." He's like, "I'm not that crazy." <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I I love it. it. It seems like I was like, "I can't even get a drone," but now it's like having a boat. You just get a friend with a drone. We haven't done very well <laughs> finding a friend with a boat yet. No, no, not not very good with that. But um, <laughs> I actually know a guy. I know a guy. But, I, you know, I don't I don't want to ask him. Be like, dude, this dude, this dude. But, you know. Anyways. So, social media. Oh, wait. No, no. Before we get to that. Amazon. Chill. Yeah. I know you've been following this, this Amazon thing. I'm super <laughs> excited about this. And it's 
the thing that worries me is it's right before my vacation. Oh no! <laughs> um, so you're gonna have a stack of boxes when you come back. Was or am I gonna have enough money to still go on vacation? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go on vacation and not be able to do anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, I am super, super excited, and I don't want to steal your news story. So I'll, I'll let you. Cover no, go it, for it. I think you're, this. This you got I think this. is going to be, and I'm trying to find your link. There it is. Um, cause I had but it's called one. Prime Day. It's the Prime 20th Day. anniversary of Amazon. Wow. They're going to have a global shopping event on July 15th, and I which realize... may be a payday for a lot of people, actually. So <laughs> it works out. I didn't realize they were 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that, that did surprise me. Mm -hmm. But So Prime Day is going to be bigger than Black Friday. Um, they'll have inter introduced deals as fast as every 10 minutes. Um, I almost look like this as like a woot off, but imagine Amazon's inventory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I just can't imagine everything that they're going to have on sale. Unreal. And what would be interesting is, does this set a precedence and kind of almost overtake or overshadow what Black Friday brings? Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this and I can't wait to see, are we going to see leaks are we going to see like the Black Friday <laughs> or the the Google or the Google, the Amazon Prime Day, mm -hmm. like leaked pages? Mm -hmm. um, how quickly will they sell out of stuff? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm definitely looking forward <laughs> to this. How many people are calling off work that day? Well, there, and there's things there's things that you could stack, right? Like here's your perfect chance if you want a Microsoft um, Office 365 bundled. Like, say they put a bundle for that on there, right? Right. Those are just keys. You right. can stack the keys. So they say they sold whatever a year costs. I'm just going to make up a number. So the, one, the one deal they were running for, all, like, all their services was, what, like, 150 bucks. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Say they sell it for 50 You could buy three of them stack them and get three years for the price of one it's presuming that's that's presuming what they do they also don't put sales usually on um digital keys like I, i've had this with the xbox live they don't they don't put a sale on uh they retail the the the, the key that they send you but if you buy the card it's an item mm -hmm. so they can discount it right and you get like 15 bucks plus off of it if you do that, and you'll get in two days if you have Prime. So, right. so really so, interesting stats to this, though. They're saying um, Prime members usually spend on average about fifteen hundred dollars. Non-Prime members uh, usually about six twenty-five. So it's working. That that, mm -hmm. that hundred bucks is worth it for that kind of thing. And this is uh, basically you you need to have a Prime membership to access the deals. It looks like, uh, but you can go ahead and sign up for a thirty-day trial right now <laughs> so uh basically anybody could really do this so yeah uh so looking out for that uh, this will be the you know it, it's like a steam sale but with physical items i can't wait <laughs> i mean I, I, I can't wait to see what they have i mean yeah. i i need a, i need because we, we were talking about redoing the office i need a new tv mm -hmm. so that that's one of the things on my list to look at that day oh yeah. i can get a tv to go um, with my new vcr <laughs> <laughs> but I just gave Dutters a VCR and a stack of tapes. Well, you got other VHSs or something, right? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> can't wait till you come to the uh, Awesome Cast Cribs, my place. <laughs> there's our there's our old TV. <laughs> She's gonna be our tech throwback Thursday Cribs. There it is. There it is. There it is. All right. Social media rundown. What do we got here? Oh man, you got all kinds of stuff happening mm -hmm. right now. Uh, Facebook changes. <laughs> Here, I'm just going to go down things quickly for you. Facebook changes its algorithm. It's not just about popularity and shares. They're also looking at um, whether people are unmuting the videos and uh, making them full screen. So This what... has been very interesting lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what this means is you might, if you're not watching videos, you're going to see less of them in your feed. Mm -hmm. But if you accidentally click on something and just out of curiosity, you're probably going to see more videos in your feed. Yeah. Did you see the thing that they did too? Where they were? I saw something today and it, I just caught a glimpse of it where... Facebook's going to give you that YouTube-esque, like where on, on mobile devices where you can kind of keep it in a, in a window, but you can go all over else, where, wherever else on YouTube. Okay. They're doing something like that where it's going to be a floating video window. Okay, so I, that's the, fine. If you want to keep the video playing, 
because that, you can kind that, of push it up and, and that's something that because I'm like oh I actually want to check this video out but I don't want, I still want to keep reading and 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 now you can't resume the feed because you don't know if you're going to get the same feed mm -hmm. you know um, no I think that'd be really handy mm -hmm. cool sorry to interject oh you're jerk <laughs> you're fired get out. Uh, Twitter wants to know your birthday. Okay. Yeah, Twitter wants to know and give you balloons. But, they, don't, they, uh, don't, they don't already know this? No. They don't give it that? Nope. Well, huh. Nope, they don't have it. Uh, you can choose to display it publicly publicly with your followers or not at all. Uh, no matter what uh, setting you choose, if they, you input your birthday, you're opening yourself up to a different search option because now you can limit your search to millennials, um, mm -hmm. baby boomers. Wow. So that, kinda, that's And that's really what makes uh, Facebook... Um, ads so strong is mm -hmm. the super 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 targeting that you can do over there so now twitter's jumping in on that too yep uh i don't know if you saw this yet facebook messenger add uh person to person payments yes so now you can send your the dollar friends. sign keeps popping up in the corner and i'm like i'm gonna hit that by accident i already have a couple of times and it's, it's kind of annoying because <laughs> i'm never never going to set that up uh, Snapchat got an update. I don't know if you've seen that lately. Um, mm -hmm. If you were like me, I was very confused on trying to hold the snaps down and why they weren't showing. Mm -hmm. Now it's just a touch. Um, they've also added a, um, what's it called? A, a ad nearby. If you have a group of friends who are on Snapchat and you all click the ad nearby at the same time, you can add it as a group and you'll all be Snapchatting together. And okay. um, also a two-factor uh, authorization. So there's obviously seeing a lot more hacks. Mm -hmm. So they're kind of taking care of that. Uh, you'll like this. Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, Twitter mobile app. You'll like the next one. Uh, Twitter mobile app update allows you to purchase ads in-app. If you've updated the app on your phone, you'll notice that at the top. It looks like it's next to the analytics, so you think it's another analytic, but it's actually a Twitter ad purchaser. Mm. So you can do that on the mobile. So if you're on, on, on the roll with that, okay. Mm -hmm. They want to make it easy. It make it way, way too easy at this point. Mm -hmm. I, and, and, and that's what I'm always... The, not to get too deep in the social media side, but I don't think like boosting your post or or boosting your tweet, promoting your tweet should be a fly by night thing. But I think they're trying to make it that to you know make you spend more money with it, obviously. But mm -hmm. I, I don't think anybody should be mm -hmm. uh, unless they are already deep, deep, deep in this already. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, normal people get this too, don't they? Yeah. So I'm just a person tweeting about. American Idol, and it says, "Oh, you get a lot of response. Go ahead and boost this." Mm -hmm. And you're like, "Okay, you know, I, don't, I just, I don't know. I think you're you're kind of because you do. Do you, do, they, do you get boost posts when you're not attached to pages? Oh yeah, you, you do. Can, yeah, you can boost. Really? Yeah. So I, I thought it was just since I have so many pages, like I, I just get that stuff, and I get like this is I'm starting to get the this is what your ad would look like, even though it would never approve it for whatever reason, like mm -hmm. my image is too small or something. Um, it's kind of getting annoying, Facebook. Mm -hmm. I, I wish there was a, hey, I will never buy anything on you. <laughs> I'm a consumer, you know, yeah. kind of mode to it. Or maybe, I, or maybe I'm just getting it more because I do have the pages and it knows it's something I can market. they can market me. So. And finally, Instagram is finally increasing its photo resolution. Yay! Yay! Because everybody who had the iPhone 6 Plus <laughs> oh, a little no. angry. Oh, no. Because oh, they look kind of ugly. And I didn't realize they only did 640 by 640 before. <laughs> Now you're getting our 1080p. 1080. Yeah, 1080. I've taken a couple of those and tried using them for like Twitter cover art, and it stretches out across the screen. It's like, ooh, that is not good. <laughs> well, some, I was reading somewhere where they did actually keep a lot of the high def mm -hmm. or the higher, I, I probably shouldn't say high def, but um, the higher quality images when you uploaded them. So I don't know if they're going to go back and retrofit the older photos or if you're just stuck with what you got and it's only 1080 by 1080 going i don't forward. think so i don't think there's a lot of historical like i don't think there's a lot of going back on instagram do you think i don't know i do i do find myself like if i meet someone or start talking to someone i will go back through their feed yeah as well as i'm the casual instagrammer mm -hmm. um so i'm the person that's probably more apt to go on there like once a week and mm -hmm. go find who I'm looking for and look back through their feed. Okay. I think this is also good, obviously, as, as more and more users are probably navigating via a, a laptop mm -hmm. or tablet. Um, this is a long, probably a long awaited change. Awesome. Yeah, they said it took them, what, 10 months to roll it out since the iPhone 6 mm -hmm. Plus came out? 
So they were surprised. Yeah, we're, we're almost on the next iPhone. Yeah. Mm hmm. The seven S plus. But or I no, think I think plus. even even though they're with Facebook, I think the word is they're still kind of a small team. Oh, I'm sure they are. There and they're he, so they're not terribly. Yeah, they're not. But you're literally like, changing a pixel number. We're not talking. That, that's true. Here. I guess so. <laughs> yes. It's it's. But that it, could break like a million users. You know what I mean? I mean. But the screen resolution, it's still going to be square. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine the file size being. I mean, we're not talking. Worrying about people on 9600 baud modems <laughs> trying to download a, a a file that's that's four times the size I, I i just don't see why they can't why this would be that big of a deal and and also if they have the back catalog already in a higher higher definition file to to up scale all of them because mm -hmm. to your point if you want if you want to reuse your instagram photo on twitter it looks like crap mm -hmm. right right 